Now let's take a quiz on this topic. The conclusive evidence of registration of firm is A. The certificate of registration of firms B. Certified copy of register of firms C. Register of central government D. None of these What is the conclusive evidence? The conclusive evidence is Certificate of registration of firm It is you know when you get certificate of registration that means your form is 100% registered it is the conclusive evidence okay next registrar of firm under section 57 of the indian partnership act is appointed by a central government b state government c trade associations d local bodies who appoints the registrar of firms this is very simple this duty has been given to state government. We discussed that when we were you know, going through the study material. We said you know, state government appoints the registrar of firms in the various provinces of the state. Okay. Next, a partnership deed must be drafted properly and stamped according to provisions of A. Indian Stamp Act B. Indian Tax Act C. The Companies Act D. The Indian Partnership Act Now when you make a partnership deed and then you know if you go for registration of the deed when you submit it to the registrar he'll only register the deed after you have paid the stamp duty on it so paying of stamp duty is very essential and when you pay stamp duty which act needs to be followed the stamp act because stamp duty is mentioned in the stamp act only okay so the answer is indian stamp act next register of firms is open to inspection a free of cost b on payment of such fee as is prescribed c subject to furnishing bank guarantee c on filing of an affidavit to this effect now i told you you know when you apply for registration to the registrar if he is satisfied he makes an entry in his register and now if you want to inspect that register you will have to pay some prescribed fee around maybe 50 or 100 rupees and then he'll allow you to inspect his register you can find out you know what is the name of your firm that is registered in his register what are the other firms in his register you can you know inspect the register of the registrar of firms by paying a prescribed fee next xyz a partnership firm was constituted on 1st april on 25th april the partners resolved to get the firm registered with the registrar of firms the firm prepared the necessary documents for registration on 26th april which was signed on 28th april they sent the documents to the registrar office on 30th April by registered post which was received in the registrar office on 4th May. The registrar filed the statement and entered the firm's name in the registrar in the register of firms on 20th May. The firm will be deemed to have been registered on A. 30th April B. 28th April C. 28th May D. 4th May now what has happened is there is a firm XYZ it's a partnership which was formed on 1st April and on 25th April the partners decide to get the firm registered so they submit the documents on 26th April oh sorry they prepare the documents on 26th April and then they sign it on 28th April 
and then they send the documents to the registrar on 30th April you know by post and these documents were received by the firm uh, the registrar of firms on 4th May and finally on 20th May the registrar of firms you know entered the name of this firm in his register so when will the firm be deemed to be registered when will it get registered on what date will it be assumed to be registered it is very simple only when the name of the firm is entered in the register it will be registered so the date of registration of the firm will be 20th may okay next if a firm wants to register itself it will go to a registrar of firms b registrar of companies c court d any of these whom should the firm go to it is very simple the firm should go to the registrar of firms let's check that's the answer next if any mistake has been done in the register of firms then application for rectification can be given a by active partner b by majority of the partner c by consent of one partner d by consent of all partners now you know many a times what happens is there is you know while filing the application what look at first place the application for registration has to be filed by all the partners together okay so they go to the registrar uh, file uh, submit a form in the prescribed uh, form and along with the partnership deed and then they pay some fee okay and then the form gets registered when the registrar is satisfied now many times what may happen is you know some mistake might have been done in the partnership deed let's say there was a partner with the name uh, you know ajit his name would have been entered as ajay or there's a person with the surname sharma his surname would have been entered as varma or the date of formation or uh, you know uh, with the number of partners let's say the firm has five partners they might have entered four they might have forgotten to enter one so there uh, there can be any sort of mistake in the original application so to correct it a new you know application for rectification of mistake has to be filed now that application for rectification has to be given by whom a active partner b majority of partner c only one partner d by consent of all partners whom do you think who do you think has to file the application of rectification the application for rectification has to be filed with the consent of all the partners so all the partners together by their consent so filing may be done by any partner but the, there has to be a consent of all the partners the application has to be signed by all the partners okay that is the answer next in order to get a copy of register of registrar of firms a firm is required to pay certain fees as prescribed by law you know registrar may also allow you to take the copies of his register but then will he allow it for free or he'll charge some money for it he'll charge some fee for it he'll obviously charge some fee for it so you have to pay certain fees so the answer here is true so after paying some you know certain amount of fees you can take the copies of the register of firms next application for registration of a partnership firm should be signed by 
टू थर्ड ऑफ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पार्टनर्स बी एट लीस्ट थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ द पार्टनर्स सी एनी वन ऑफ द पार्टनर डी ऑल द पार्टनर्स आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट वाइल अप्लाइंग फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन all the partners have to sign it so there has to be a consent of all the partners okay so the answer here is all the partners okay next to constitute a partnership agreement it a must be in writing b can be oral or written c neither oral nor written D only oral. Now, this is again very simple. A partnership agreement may be, you know, oral or written. Now, you know, a partnership agreement, it's an agreement, it's a contract. It may be oral, it may be written. Only when it is written, it becomes a partnership deed. If it is oral, it does not become a partnership deed. There is no partnership deed that comes into existence that is made. so only when it is writing it becomes a partnership deed however that agreement that contract can be oral can be written there are no restrictions on that but again if you want to form the partnership in the state of maharashtra or goa partnership deed has to be written because you will require it for registration next partnership deed signifies a agreement between the parties b application to registrar c certificate of registered partnership d all of the above what does partnership deed signify it is the agreement between the parties it is the application to registrar it is certificate of registered partnership or all of the above a partnership deed signifies agreement between the partners i said the agreement or the contract between the partners may be oral or written and when it is written it becomes partnership deed so what does partnership deed signify it signifies the contract or the agreement between the partners partnership agreement may be oral written oral or written or written on stamp paper the partnership agreement may be oral or it may be written okay that is the answer next partnership deed is also called as a partnership document b articles of partnership c both of the above d none of the above a partnership deed no uh, no it is very similar to the articles of the association as we have articles of association in a company in the same way we have partnership deed in a firm so it is almost similar to it it works in the same manner so it is also called as the articles of partnership okay next a partnership arises from a agreement b by spoken words c by court of law d all of the above what does the partnership arise from agreement spoken words court of law or all of the above this again is a very simple question the answer is agreement we have seen this while we were learning the definition of partnership partnership is a relation between the persons who have agreed so there needs to be an agreement and partnership comes from an agreement between the partners okay so we are done with the quiz part now let's move ahead